Tapaku tu mo menene, tapaku tu mo menene, tapaku tu mo menene, tapaku tu mo menene. Hate awi a tsele pa pa la ha sum he he. As a big nation, the Chumash people traded with a lot of our neighbors to all directions, to the islands out at Catalina, San Nicolas, to the eastern tribes, to our backcountry tribes, and to our western tribes out, uh, out there. And all of our highways that we drive today are representative of those old walking trails that have now turned into major roads. Uh, the people we traded to, to our south, the Tongva people, they had San Nicolas and Catalina Island. And there's a beautiful stories that come out of our, in our uh, school curriculums, uh, Island of the Blue Dolphin, for instance. And that was a true story of Juana Maria, which was her baptismal name. Um, she lived on that island for so long alone by herself, for 18 years. And as she saw in, in the ships coming in and out, she would hide and put herself away so no one would see her because there was a great uh, battle that went out there and all her people were taken off the island by the Russians and the Aleut uh, natives. And so as she saw one time that, I don't know what went in her mind, I could only imagine that being on her own homeland for so long to finally say, it's time. I want to see what the world must be like. I'm going. And so she gets on board of Captain Niveter's ship and they sail her to Santa Barbara. Unfortunately, she didn't live long, um, about three months after coming to the mainland, but she left a beautiful story, a beautiful uh, cache of artifacts that were found just recently in the cave that she actually hid in. It's a wonderful, true, true story. Well, what she did also was leave behind a song. There were some uh, native peoples because they didn't know what language she spoke and the people on the boat, the native people, didn't understand her language either. It was so unique to the island. But her song that she was singing was uh, given to one of our elders, Fernando Librado Kitsapowit, and he recorded it with John Peabody Harrington back in the early 1900s. So Toki Toki was her song, and it was a lament song in which uh, her gratitude for you know being home and being taken care of, and she learned how to do many things, and um, and then coming to a new place and what her you know maybe her goals or her um, expectations may have been, we don't know, but she left behind this song. Toki toki, ya hey men ma toki toki, ya hey men ma toki toki, ya hey men ma toki toki, ya hey men me wile ne shima. Mi shu ya ha he men me wile le shima. Mi shu ya ha he men me toki toki. Ya ha he men ma toki toki. Ya ha he men ma toki toki. Ya ha he men ma toki toki. Ya ha he men me wile le shima. Mi shu ya ha he men me wile le shima. Mi shu ya ha he men ma toki toki. 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 Ya ha he men ma ho. Toki toki. Ya ha he men ma toki 
Mishu Yahweh.